Hey guys, in this video I want to show you something awesome that I've been working on for the last two days. So this video is about batch file programming IDE. Well, it's a very simple primitive IDE, but it is cool and it makes the job easier and faster to do. So, if you don't know what batch file programming is, I'll tell you some, something about it. So, the batch file programming is the native programming offered by the uh, Microsoft Windows operating system. And the batch file is created using any text editor. So, you can use Notepad, Wordpad, Notepad++, or so on. Uh, which comprises of a sequence of built-in commands uh, used to perform some often done tasks like deleting a series of files of same type or of different type, uh, creating logs, clearing unwanted crap from your computer and even for creating a batch of virus. So whenever a batch program is executed it was interpreted line by line by the CLI or the command line interpreter that is also known as the CMD or the command prompt so the batch file is really helpful in automating uh, tedious tasks and for maintaining system logs uh, the commands used while creating a batch files are case insensitive uh, in that in the sense that it may accept both small and uppercase letters so you can use batch file programming uh, for any kind of uh, automating tasks if you want to perform it uh, and I was working on some kind of uh, Java compiler so you all know that you can compile Java files by using uh, some powerful IDEs like NetBeans IDE or IntelliJ or Eclipse, but I was working on my own and uh, I wanted to mix uh, Java programming with batch file programming. Uh, so first of all I wanted to learn more about batch file programming because I didn't have a clue. Uh, it took me about one day to figure out some basic stuff and uh, Two days later, I decided to make my own batch file programming IDE, and you can see it's called Bat IDE. So if we run it, we'll see this window, and there's a text pane inside of a tab pane. Uh, there are six buttons. First button is new file, then open, save as, save run and font we have a file menu that has the same functions new open save as save run and quit if we click quit it says do you want to save current document before we quit we'll say no uh, or cancel so if you write some code here like uh, echo off echo hello world pause you can see that uh, these uh, keywords are in green and the other words are in white so you can see what keywords are so that's one of the cool features that this uh, simple primitive IDE has so uh, first of all we need to save it to the hard drive so we could run it so, uh, if we click uh, run, it will first uh, ask us to save this somewhere, so we will save it to desktop and we will call it test, save and uh, this will go now, and if we click run, it will set hello world. Now, if we change something to this code, like uh, we'll add flag A and we will add title bat IDE color 
it will be uh, to C and we will say go to H. Now we don't have to save it again and then run it, we just click run again and it says uh, hey, a person you hit the continue because we added go to so it skipped this line of code and went to hey now if we write something after this hey flag like echo this is after hello world and run it again it will say this is after hello world because it skipped this uh, hello world but this isn't about uh, tutorial about to teach you something about uh, batch file programming it is about this awesome IDE so if you are into batch file programming you will love it it's uh, very simple very very cool it has all the basic functions it has the uh, highlighting the those uh, keywords and as you can see this is only 58.6 kilobytes uh, of space so it's a very 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 lightweight ide uh, i will put a link for download in description and if you want to test it you can download it uh, and I hope you